So, um, thank you video for offering the chance to finally talk about code with to Cluj. So, here I am, Juana and Joanna. Yeah. Let's start it. We also had Anna last, last year. Yes. Also on the way. Two months ago. So, um, yeah, the first part we would like to ask you if someone from the room heard about Code Week initiative. Okay. Anyone really? Like, I've seen three friends in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I've shared so much. Four friends. <laughs> I, I had some other questions, people like who attended an event or even organized an event, but uh, we can skip those. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Let's go on. So, uh, anybody heard about this lady, Nelly Cruz? Another show of hands. Yeah? Have you heard about the roaming prices going really down in Europe? Yes. Yeah? Okay. It's this lady that started it, and not, not that started, but that finished actually this, this thing. So maybe have a look. It, it's good to remember. Basically, five years ago at the European Commission, they said, look, we think that by, so this saw some statistics, and by 2020, there will be like 800,000 uh, jobs in IT that will not be uh, you know, fulfilled. There will be no people with uh, with uh, the necessary skill to fill them. So they said, okay, what can we do? And the brightest idea that came to them was Code Week, which means having a week in October where they, uh, they can celebrate programming and, anyway, digital skills. Um, which is what they did. Basically, they, uh, every, every October they started uh, uh, giving like a, a week for, for Code Week. Eventually it starts, it starts with a week, it, it, it got to almost three weeks now, but anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we call it an umbrella event because uh, the European Commission not necessarily impose a team, not necessarily impose you what to do. And unfortunately, as we like to say, they kind of forgot to give money away and budget as events need those. But it does give you the freedom to organize whatever you want you want, to implement your idea, to support this kind of you know, development, let's call it. And unfortunately, you probably saw that we are not the best in, in town for having uh, well, in Europe, I would say, not town, for having the best of informatic or computer science classes. Or even if you uh, are, you finish the computer science, then you know that we can do it better and we need it to improve this. So the generations that come after us will have better digital skills. Uh, here, the opportunity is to organize whatever you think they will need, even consisting to teach uh, web literacy or literacy in digital world to elder people or to children to have a company show off to those interested maybe to join you. Even now our colleagues said that they arrived to be a QA by the sick. They will be now teach and uh, educated uh, about this new job for them. Or the HR will not have to learn this by themselves. They will have opportunity to see how you do it. And with this kind of show off, they can join you more specialized in, in their own future. Now, yeah. That's the only slide we have, like with text. We want it to be very formal and have Sorry, a slide Sorry, dear Romanian. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of show examples again of events that we uh, expect or events that we already have. Here, maybe some of you are familiar with the Rails Girls event or Kojo, uh, dojos that are really organized in the Romania. They were like a big part of last year's event. And um, again, like I said, literacy for uh, adults, and here we kind of imply for them to understand that the little man from the bank is not necessarily with a human being inside of them that makes the payment, but it is a program that does them uh, that for them. And whenever you have an idea like related to hardware, robotics, uh, mobile apps, everything related to IT in general. Yeah, so anybody can start anything from one hour to one day to one week if you want. Basically, uh, this is how we grow basic, both the generation of you know, technical people of tomorrow and also how we help maybe our parents who are still you know, reluctant to pay their bills online or I don't know, use the machine to buy bus tickets. Uh, this is a map of what happened yet, uh, last year in Romania. Uh, even Oradia was better than Cluj, so I think we can do better. Uh, basically, we had like 150 events or so in, uh, in the whole of Romania, but there were more than 23,000 across Europe. So I think we can and should do better and contribute more this year, especially since the fifth edition. 
So what, to, what we wanted to leave with is that uh, this year is not a week, it's almost two weeks, starting from uh, September, uh, September, October 7th till 22nd. And uh, again, you can organize whatever you want here, especially that you're from companies. I think a good opportunity for your uh, companies to open the doors for both high schoolers or even younger people to show them that it's a fun thing to do at work, that you're not grumpy all the time in the, while you're computing, that you're not hitting the keyboard all the time. And also, I, I'd like to have a cool and chill atmosphere sometime, sometimes, when not when the release is coming, but when you just set them out and you know we're gonna explode, you'll have fun with your colleagues there and encourage them to pursue um, a career in this domain. Yeah, here are all the sites where you can follow us. If you really don't care about doing anything yet, you can at least follow us and be informed about what's next. We will send probably this uh, this presentation on it's in the uh, or it's in the article. And anyway, we can. Uh, you're right. Yeah. Thank you. You <laughs> got me. I'm just done. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to make it fast. Here are our email addresses. Let us know if you have questions or need more details. Thank you. Uh, questions? Or ideas for the events? No? We can. Yes. Where will, will, will take place? Events. Where or when? Where? Uh, so no, it, it doesn't have a specific place. It takes all over the Europe, and we have a, a connected event in Africa too. In Africa, um, each one can organize an event in their homes or in their uh, homes, company places, their comfortable spaces. Call it like that. Uh, we are also as ambassadors a bonding between those who have a place, like public libraries and a company that wants to organize something but doesn't have a big room for it. We can connect those who have space to those who have ideas or mentors and probably together they can build something cool. Um, you can do it in your company office, in a Starbucks coffee if you like for that. Um, last year most of them were in schools and they were like computer science classes different made, like specialized robotics or what's coming in IoT, things that the kids don't learn uh, in their program, literally, or each time they do it. So it's something new or um, demonstration of 3D printing we had a lot, and everybody was like enthusiastic to do something different from the generic classes that they have there. Other questions? Uh, so basically, well, if you want to organize an event, we have the platform that we presented on the website. Um, and again, the European Commission doesn't support with money, but we also have linked there uh, some of the sponsors that we have. They offer grants. We have the association from Bucharest Tech Soup, which offers uh, in partnership with SAP uh, sponsorship. We have Google, but unfortunately, they already closed their time of support, uh, we have we will have very close in Cluj, supported by Google for Code Week. So, unfortunately, again, they forgot that we need budget for this. They don't necessarily give you budget, but we do have ferries that help us uh, with such things. Good ferries. <laughs> but the good thing is, the good thing is, you generally with IT-related events, you don't really need much. You need basically the will to do something. Some computers you can always find, right? Some, some water and maybe some snacks that's easy to get from maybe your company or if you don't just call us and we'll find this for you. <laughs> right. So really budget should really not be an issue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so basically if you need help or you know developers, right now TSM we got a lot of you know the you know draw a lot of uh, okay. So one more well, question. What, what was the level of interest from attendees in the previous years? Well, uh, depending on the events, again, those that were organized in school, because the European Union puts a lot of emphasis in schools, um, they gave us the support to contact our European ministers and uh, let's call it officials from the government and stuff like that. Those kids tried, again, were very enthusiastic to try new things because they were out of their regular school program. Um, the 3D printing stuff and demo from uh, IoT field was also very engaging for them. Unfortunately, I have to admit, we do had uh, we had some classes that were generic, and we kind of hesitated even to accept them as a code week initiative because they were the real um, just the generic program in school, like teaching them some algorithms. 
which not necessarily were special for Code Week, but we accepted them in the end because they did try to do something they promoted at least the idea that we need to do better at this uh, teaching or mentoring new people that come. I would say that the ones mentioned, they were very enthusiastic. I didn't hear anyone complaining, and from the feedback that we gather, and we'll try to share more on Facebook to encourage people, uh, people were very happy about the initiative, and they wanted to get involved this year, too. Yeah, basically something for the community to try. Okay, thanks, and I hope we'll have more updates from you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Please, please. Yeah. Like all events in IT, we do have badges and stickers. If you want one, I will uh, leave some on some. <laughs> and we have t-shirts also. <laughs> some, some orange here. You have it so we won't see that, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>